We're back, or, uh, I'm back. <laughs> my name is Ailish, and for the month of October, I'll be reporting back to Subjectively HQ with my own personal Inktober challenge. If you aren't already familiar, Inktober is a month-long drawing challenge started by Jake Parker. Jake wanted to improve his own inking skills, so he decided that he was going to do one ink drawing every day for the month of October. He made himself a set list of prompts, a set of rules, and put pen to paper. The challenge exploded, as these things tend to do, if you're lucky, and what started as one guy trying to push himself has grown into the phenomena that we all see hashtags for today. Jake's rules are simple. 1. Draw with ink. 2. Share it with someone. 3. Do this every day for the month of October. And that's pretty much it. One of the coolest things about Inktober is that many artists have taken the concept and completely run with it. Some people follow the prompt list religiously. Some people draw every day, but they just do their own ink drawing. Uh, some people take ink to mean line art, and they draw digitally. And some people, some people get overwhelmed at the prospect and wish they could play along, but don't. Here's the thing about Inktober. It was started as a personal challenge set by one dude. It's a celebration of a specific medium and pushing your limits as an artist. Inktober isn't a competition. For some people, it's a marathon, for others, it's a sprint, and for some, it's slow and steady walk from I haven't touched a dip pen in my life to I never knew how much fun ink could be. If you're even a little bit curious, I implore you to try it out in some capacity. Pick up a pen, make some art, make some friends. Just remember, you set your own artistic limits. You know what you can handle and you know what is too much. When you hear about challenges like this, I want you to think, what do I want to accomplish by doing this? Adjust the rules and limitations you give yourself so you can get what you want out of it. You don't have to post every day. If you want to draw something with ink, go for it. Without further ado, I am proud to present Petunia the Hummingbird Botanist. She goes on adventures all across the world looking for brand new flowers. Her adventures will take her to crazy places, so keep checking back to see where she'll be next. So, on that note, I'm going to tell you about my Inktober. My approach to Inktober is going to be pretty non-traditional. I love using ink in acrylic ink, which technically is just really thin acrylic, but it has the word ink in it, so I'm going to say it counts. <laughs> so I always get really excited for Inktober, even though I don't often follow through. I think I did it my freshman year of art school, but that was a lot of like <laughs> drawing like quarter sized things and posting them at midnight. Anyway, this time around, I want to practice painting the same character interacting with different environments. I also want to get better at painting and sharpen my fountain pen skills. And on top of that, I want to share as much as I can with you. A full illustration and a recorded video to post every single day for 31 days. It's kinda nuts. So instead, I'm cherry picking prompts that I like from the official list and giving myself three days for each illustration. I'll be uploading a video for each individual illustration as I make it on my brand new personal channel. If you want to hear me talk a little bit more about my thought process uh, during the creation of this illustration, you can go to my personal YouTube channel, which is just Alish with an exclamation mark, um, link down below. And I'll be uploading a compilation right here for Subjectively every week. This is a challenge pushing my own personal abilities in a way that I can actually manage, and I can't wait to take you guys along on the journey with me. And of course, how could I possibly make a video about Inktober without a plug for our partner Inked Gaming? They make awesome gaming merch like playmats, mouse pads, t-shirts, and more, all with designs by independent artists, including Subjectively Jack and Subjectively Claire. Use the link in the description and the code SUBJECTIVELY10 at checkout for a 10% discount off your entire purchase. Here is the final illustration, Petunia's debut. Thank you.
all right so as always thank you so much for watching tell me below if you're doing inktober what your plans are i'll see you next tuesday bye